the Dewalt 735. Yeah, the roller stopped working on it, so I couldn't feed in it anymore. So, uh, what we're going to do, I did an inspection. So, what we need to do is get this cover off right here. And you already have a tool here, so you just use this guy. And uh, I got the other screws off, so I just have the one left. And... All right, there's the cover. The screws can actually be stored up here, so pretty handy for maintenance. Okay, so the problem that we had, the rollers don't feed anymore, uh, so that tells me there was a problem with uh, the linkage somewhere in here, one of the pulleys or something. So I actually uh, took out the cover, and we're gonna get really close to this guy, and you get. You're going to see this spin, but you're not going to see the sprocket spin. Alright, so that tells you something broke in here. Because your, your sprocket's supposed to be you're spinning. So, um, did a little research, and I've got some tools that you're going to need. And to separate the, you know, the the clamp washer, you're going to need a tool like this. And to get this spring off, you're going to need this. And I already have parts ready. So let's get through this here. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to loosen the spring right here for the, uh, the tensioner right here. And you just go ahead and take that spring off. All right, and that's free. So now we got the little clamp washer that we're gonna need to get into. And that's where this comes into place. So with that, we're gonna get that guy going in there, spread it out. I'll just spin it around so I can get access over here easier. like that you got another one on the other side so we'll take care of that okay now that we got uh, those clamp washers removed you could just slide this right off just like that all right so, quick inspection tells you something's missing there. So, um, the one sprocket has that little tab right there, the key. And this one is missing. And it looks like it might have broke off. In fact, it did. It's right, you can see right there. So, that's the problem right there. Okay, so, with that, what we're going to do is I've got replacements so we're gonna take those two guys off and I'll give you a closer look say it's missing and in fact it was still on that it was still on that rod so there's the broken piece so there's that mess. All right, replacements. Now, since it's a failure, it's probably gonna fail again on the other one. So I went ahead and bought two of these guys. All right, and there is a washer right here. I'm gonna inspect it. It actually looks good, so I can reuse that. And, uh, and since I took the clamp washers off there, the old one, I went ahead and ordered a new set because, you know, might as well get a new fresh set of clamp washers there. So, these old guys are done. And I got the new ones. And uh, so it's just as simple as getting the, 
and reinstalling it. All right. Okay, let's take this guy, put him back together. Now the key is going to have to be. Yeah, I don't think you could turn those uh, rollers very easily, so it will take a little work to get the keys to line up. But you can figure that out, All right? So I got one. That key's going this way. Let's just verify that. And one going this way. All right. So let's just kind of align that up with my grooves there. And I might have to turn it just a little bit somehow. Yeah, one more over somehow. This can be a little tricky. And perhaps I would have to redo the, somehow get the rollers to turn to get that keyed in there somehow. Let's see if I can pull it. Okay, so I got me some lock jaws. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy a little bit. Right, there's that. And let's see, which way do I need to turn? I need to turn down. <clears throat> there we go. Did I get it? It's almost there, I think. Let's do it equal. There we go. All right. Getting into it. All right. Tap that down so I can get those clamps on. that yep okay good all right so into all right, we're ready for this clamp washer Let's set that in there there we go we know it's in there now all right good all right, and on to the next guy. There we go. And then our spring for the tensioner. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's turn it on. And remember, always unplug this thing when you're working in it, on it. So, all right, we should see this thing turn. Let's see what we get. All right. Success. All right. Good. Now, when you get in ordering parts for these things, you want to make sure you get the right model number and gen number generation of your model so you can find that up here here it is and you can see uh, right here where it says type you're going to need to look at that so this is a type 1 I believe there's a type uh, 12 out there too make sure you're you're matching your parts for what type you got to and uh, I'll link I'll leave a link to where you can get some replacement parts and uh, hopefully this work, works out for your solution and it's not too bad when you do get these one of them breaks order an extra set so you have two of them because you're gonna have a failure in the future for another one so just anticipate having them on hand uh, they can save you time instead of waiting a week for the parts and it's best just to have these on hand. These these are notorious to to fail from looking at some chat discussions and stuff. So, all right, well there you go.